Today, I want to show you a free and open source application called SuperImage that can upscale a photo and restore some lost details using the GPU on your Android smartphone or tablet. I have found this application to be great when you have taken a photo, but it turns out to be a little out of focus. And it's also good at upscaling an image when the original resolution is too small to your liking. SuperImage is pre-trained using the MMN Deep Learning Framework and the real ESRGAN model, which processes the original image into a number of tiles, upscales them, restores some lost details, and then merges those tiles into a final higher resolution file. This application will require your device to support either Vulkan or OpenCL, and you must have Android 7.0 or higher installed for it to work. You can download this application for free and try it out right now. I downloaded my copy from FDroid, but you could also sideload the APK file after it has been downloaded from the GitHub page. You can search for Super Image within the FDroid app, or you can find the GitHub project page linked down below. If you're not aware of how to sideload an APK file, I will be including a link to a dedicated video that I have done on that subject in the video description below as well. So once you have the application installed, let's go ahead and open it up. The user interface is very simple and straight to the point, but there are a couple of options that we can choose from. The default upscaling method is set to 4x and the generic art style. It will upscale your photo to four times the original resolution, which will bring your 1080p photo up to 4K resolution. And we also have a 16x generic option that will upscale the image from 1080p to an 8K resolution. After we select which mode we want to go with, we can then select which file format that we would like the upscaled image to be saved as. By default, this will be set to PNG, but if you would like to save on some storage space, then we could set this to JPG. So as mentioned, the first use case for this application is when you have an image that is quite small. We can plug a photo with a low resolution into super image, and then it will upscale to either four times the original resolution, or we can go all the way up to eight times. And you can see the output resolution will change depending on which mode we select. Once you have your image in place, and your options are set, we simply need to tap on the upscale button and then let the application do the work. Everything is processed locally on the device using the GPU, so nothing is uploaded to the cloud and your images are kept private. The amount of time it takes to upscale the image will depend on the original size the mode you chose, and the amount of power available via your GPU. You will notice that it takes longer to process your images on a lower end device than it would take if you had used a high end flagship smartphone or tablet. But the end result should be the same. Once the job has been completed, check the output file to see how it compares to the original. We can even use a side-by-side -side comparison application 
to look over those details. This was the before image, and this is the after image. Now, another great reason to use this application is those times when you have taken a photo that comes out to be a little blurry. If your subject is not entirely in focus, then the super image application can restore some of those details for you. Sadly, there isn't a sharpen only option here, so the final result will still be a higher resolution than the original. However, the output file should show that we can bring back some of those lost details after it has been processed. Here we have an image of our previous cat that was a bit out of focus. Let's process it with the times four generic mode here and then see how the results look. The larger the original source file is, the longer it will take for your device to process that image. So in this example, we can see that only some of the details were able to be restored for a couple of reasons. During my testing, I have noticed some mixed results with the super image application. There are some objects that the app works great with while others, it tends to struggle. For example, thinner things like hair and grass has shown to be difficult for the application. But larger, more blocky objects like food or buildings have shown to be very easy for the application to work with. So if you have ever wanted to upscale an image or restore some lost details from an object being out of focus, then give the super image application a try. It's free, open source, and allows for everything to be processed locally on the device without having your content uploaded to the cloud.